Welcome to Boston University Hockey tonight. The Terriers of Boston University and the University of Maine Black Bears. Good idea to have him out there with a man up. Good to see number two out there again, McCarthy too. McCarthy waltzes down. McCarthy in front to the goal. Deflection in front. I believe it was Cockrell to give the Terriers the one to nothing lead. Plenty of traffic created there with Tuck and Cockrell, Mark. Well, I didn't get a chance to finish the sentence about how good it was to see McCarthy out there. He's been really missed these last few weeks, despite the success of the Terriers. And there's an example why. Does a nice job, reads the play, keeps the puck in, throws a little head fake, takes it almost down to the goal line, slides it right across. Could have been Tuck, I think. Could have been Tuck. Yeah. Either way, like you said, two forwards in front. But welcome back, number two. Yes. He's Man. working up high here with Brineski. Man's Shot got, in front, deflected, rebound. He's got three forwards He's top of the, the goal. Line. Welcome, welcome back. Vinny Duplessis, you're in the game now after that sequence. Well, Maine making it clear what their approach is going to be is they've got three forwards right on top of Duplessis down low, trying to generate some offense from the point a little bit. On the backhand. Scoog in deep against Sarota. Maine switches to a 1-2-2. Scoog gets it back. Scoog now. Uh-oh, you Finds know what that means. Time from behind the net. There it is! And he scores! <laughs> Scoog with the lacrosse move. An encore from when he had pulled that one off back a couple of seasons ago. When he and got the, the Terriers have a two to nothing lead. When he got the puck behind the net, Bernie, I said, uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> I can see comes. the look on his face from here. Just start to curl that stick down low. Oh, my. I guess we'll see you on ESPN. Yes, we will. Roma Skook, my gosh. You talk about hands. It's a BU thing now. It's Zegers in the NHL. Wilma Skook for the Terriers. Yep, just picks it up and throws it in the net. Pass all the way back in. Flying two Turned forwards. it away. And that's what happens when you do that. After Simone, he is passed. That was a good defensive play there by Poisson. Terriers will get it back in front of the goal, Master Simone. Good second effort there on the Terriers, not quitting in deep to keep that puck alive for a, for a bit. Well, it all stops. Terriers make you pay when you try to get aggressive offensively. Black Bears are down two goals. They've got two forwards at the far offensive blue line. Terriers step up, get the pass. The transition game we're talking about all night long. Get the puck deep, get it down low. Three forwards down low. Master Simone, nobody covers him, and that's a mistake. Just get it, get rid of it, boom, go. Absolutely. It's fast break basketball, the only analogy I can think of. Yep. Just smooth on the breakout shot, deflected in front, and a goal. Well, Fensori set it up, and he started the whole play. Took that puck deep behind his own net, knew he had a black bear on him, and just outskated him into the offensive zone. Terry's managed to get a nice little setup there offensively, threw the puck to the net, Master ends up Simone. in the back of the net, exactly. I saw on a lead, he's got Breen, Breen holds up. He tried to center one, it deflected, ooh, back on Duplessis. Shot and uh. saved by Duplessis on the follow-up. Now flying through for a shot is Sirota. Uh -oh. That'll Wild do it. Mark with Vinny. time running out on the Black Bears here tonight. The Terriers of Boston University with an impressive and decisive. They were looking for 60 minutes. Well, it was, it was a good win uh, for the team. Vinny du Duplessis, he hasn't played in a while. He got a shutout. Um, he was pretty sharp. You know, he was aggressive in his paint. And he did a good job. You know, I thought in the first period, um, I thought we had pretty good control of, of what we were doing. You know, they got chances, you know, off our own self-inflicted wounds. Um, and some of those odd man rushes they got, you know, us turning pucks over. And they did a good job blocking shots. Um, second period, we could have scored seven, eight goals. Um, we really pushed hard in the second. and. You know, obviously extended the lead. Um, in third period, we had a couple, couple penalties. We had a power play that was a little inept, and you know, we had some big blocks and a couple big saves by Vinny. And overall, happy with you know the effort. You know, when we play the right way, we're hard to deal with. You know, when we don't hang onto pucks and we throw pucks away, you know, we allow other teams to get into our zone and get some offense. And not saying they didn't create stuff, but I think a, a lot of their um, a lot of their chances and rushes, you know, were, were off, you know, kind of tough plays by us. You know, the second period was one of the best periods we've played all year. So, all in all, happy. Um, look forward to the bean pot. That was pretty incredible. It was a nice play. Uh, we scored a couple good ones tonight, but yeah, Scooger, he's he's going to been blocked on that a couple times this year. He did it versus Dartmouth uh, when he came in uh, his freshman year, mid year. Um, but yeah, he's he's pretty good at getting it up, and he was, that was really quick. It was a, it was a nice play. And coach, you guys have scored first in the last ten games, so can you just speak to how your good start has translated into this role you guys have been 
Yeah, no, I, th- I think guys are you know pretty pretty focused right off the drop of the puck. You know, I think when you score first, percentage wise, you get a better chance of winning. Um, but we've come out in our first periods have been very good. Uh, we've been focusing on starts. You know, I thought our second was a lot better than the first, but we definitely started well. You know, it's nice to score first. You know, give, it's a little bit of relief on the bench and positive mo. You're not gripping it. You already got a goal, so um, that that's a big part of it. Great, we've got great leadership. You know, I think if you look early on in the year, you know, if we didn't have really good leadership, you know, things could have went sideways. Um, those guys have kept the group together, and you know, their the message has been really good. It's nice to uh, have some veteran guys that you know step up and, and played really well. You know, that Amonte line was really good tonight. Our captains were really good. Um, I think a lot of guys played well tonight, but those, those guys kind of they started they started out really well. Coach, obviously the start to this game, the start to the game on Sunday against Providence, very similar, two goals quick in the first period. Obviously tonight's second period, that time, second period, ninth day. Can you just speak to how you uh, want your team to stay momentum entering the first period into the second? Yeah, I, I think we could have gotten a lot more in the first, but we just uh, – you got to give them credit. They blocked a lot of shots and got some transition off blocks. And our our D were a little bit slow to react at the offensive blue line right away. And we just we were turning pucks over and and not really making smart plays and giving them giving them chances. And, and if you saw in the the second period, we were really patient. You know, we we're very comfortable hanging on to pucks, very comfortable getting changes in the offensive zone. And the D did a better job. If they didn't have anything, they either tried to get one down or got one off the back wall and just tried to restart our cycle. So. You know, the D, the D helped that out quite a bit. Good. Talk about your leadership a little bit there. What are Logan's best qualities as a captain? I would say his competitive spirit. Uh, really competitive guy. Uh, he's got good energy. He's really fast. Um, and he plays the right way. You know, in three zones. He made a lot of nice little self chips. Played in behind guys. He won a lot of foot races. Was physical. Um, you know, he was on the score sheet. So I think he I think he led really well tonight. I thought Koff was really good. I thought that was one of the better games Tiamonte played. Um, he's played well, but you know he was really on top of it tonight. He was physical and he was really involved. What do you think of McCarthy, Brown, and Zappa returns? I thought Brownie was really good, uh, especially for not practice with us for a bit. Um, really good. I thought Zabs got really a lot better as the game wore on. Um, you know, he had what four, four or five shots. He was in. He could have had a couple. He had a two-on-one that he tried to make a play on. He had one that he zipped to Army for a tap-in that Army just kind of flubbed. Um, he was good. Mac obviously made an impact on the on the score sheet on that play, um, but he didn't even he didn't last the whole game. You know, he was I think a little bit tired. Um, he hasn't skated much. He's not in game shape. So that was a good. It was a good game for him to, you know, kind of get into it. Maine's physical. They're big, strong, they're heavy, and you know, I think Mac's gonna have to get some rest tomorrow so we can get prepped for for Monday. Speaking of Monday, just what's the mood in the locker room heading into that matchup against Harvard? Oh, I think guys will be excited. Um, the key is just to make sure you know we're even, you know, mentally. You know, we don't burn too much energy, uh, getting too excited and ramped up. Uh, we got to make sure that. We're loose and ready to go because it's it's going to be a it's going to be a tough task to beat uh, beat the Crimson. One more, Adam. Coach, uh, oh, go ahead. Um, last night, in the third period, there, uh, I know you guys ended up playing like one of our most complete games of the season. But I'm just wondering, like, how you sort of approach, like, you know, you're, you got a big lead, like, how you approach, like, your personnel decisions, like, were you maybe trying to get Matt for a couple shifts out there to get the hat trick, or how are you approaching? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I think he was trying to get the hat trick. <laughs> you know, I think he, uh, yeah, no, personnel-wise, I think we were just trying to play each line, you know, and just try to keep the rhythm of the group. Uh, it's hard when you get some special teams. It gets a little bit disjointed. I think Zab sat in the bench for a bit. Philly sat in the bench, and I told the guys just to keep their legs. Um, but, yeah, I think individual stuff with guys' hat tricks and whatnot, we're more worried about the three points and, and getting right guys. I think uh, 
getting the right guys on those face-offs towards the end. You know, Obi was pretty hot there, and he won a couple of late draws, and Steve-O did a good job, and the PK did a really good job killing. So, um, yeah, individual stuff. You know, if there was an empty netter or something like that, you know, maybe, but, you know, we're just trying to win the game. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Um, obviously, it's my first game with a student section, at least rooting for me, and uh, it just gave me a lot of extra energy today. I mean, it was, you know, I heard a couple of any chants here and there, but that, that's also, that's always pretty funny, but I like it, yeah. What were you thinking lacrosse from the start there? Or just kind of see how it developed? Uh, I was thinking about it, but I was thinking not to do it at first. But once I moved a little bit over the, to the, over the middle, their D like followed me. And uh, yeah, I've tried it a lot of times this season before. And, I figured I'd try it again, and it worked out this time, so that was fun. You see Zeger do a couple weeks ago? Right? Yeah, yeah, I did. You <laughs> tried it a lot after you pulled it off two years ago. Yeah. Um, Vinny, just you know, getting the shutout in, in your first game, what does that do for your confidence and just the team's confidence collectively heading into Monday? I mean, you know, it's not just all on me. It's, it's going to sound a little cliche but you know the team played really well in front of me we played really hard but I mean I guess it's great for my confidence but you know it doesn't matter what I do today it's a new game it's a new game on what Monday so I'll get ready just like I did for today. Wilmer, once upon a time you were a mid-season addition on this team and I know you guys have a mid-season addition now with Jack Page. I'm wondering like you know any advice for him you know coming into the team in the middle of the season like things that you learned from when you had that experience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest part is just getting to know each other at the beginning uh, and like being comfortable in the group. And I think, I think everyone, including himself, has done a good job with that. And uh, yeah, he's co communicating with everyone and uh, making friends. And he's, I think, what I figured is coming along very well with his roommates too. So I think that's a big part too. Vinny, you mentioned that defense is a team effort. It seemed like the Bowers were getting really involved on the defensive side of the puck. Can you just talk briefly about the effort that you saw on them tonight on your side of the ice? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of uh, shot blocking that's involved. That's always big, especially when you got a big man like, I don't, I don't remember his name, he's like six foot ten or something. I was caught looking between his legs or something. and I got a couple block shots from the forward, so that's always that's always huge. But a um, couple big rebounds that I gave in the first period, and they were there to, um, you know, have my back. So, yeah. Vinny, for you in the first two periods when Maine doesn't have a whole lot going, what's it like for you just trying to stay sharp? Um, you know, I'm just, just trying to skate around and keep my heart rate up. But I don't know. I, I think I'm 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 prepared for any situation that's thrown at me. So it doesn't really bother me to not have too much action, but. Um, yeah. And then I guess this question be, could be for either of you guys. Just looking forward to Monday. Have you guys, you know, looked a lot at Harvard? And if, if you have, what's something you've seen in them? Something you guys think you're gonna have to do as a team to prepare? Uh, I'll go. Uh, we haven't really looked into that yet. We focus on this game, uh, but just from not have looked at them, it's gonna be just really competitive and following our structures is going to be a big part. Uh, so I think we're going to focus more on ourselves uh, and obviously look at them and see what we have to adjust to fit their game better.